Greetings from Prague. Today I'm going to cross the bridge, Charles Bridge, over the river Vltava. It is a pretty old bridge. Its construction started in 1357 and the bridge replaced the old Judith Bridge built in 1158 that had been badly damaged by a flood. This new bridge was originally called Stone Bridge but has been referred to as Charles Bridge since 1870. As the only means of crossing the river Vltava until 1841, Charles Bridge was the most important connection between Prague Castle and the city's old town. This land connection made Prague important as a trade route between Eastern and Western Europe. And as you can see, a lot of people are coming the same way as I do. It is a Probably one of the maybe five places or something like that that every visitor to Prague, foreign visitor, tourist, uh, comes to see. And of course, everything is geared toward tourists. All the shops, bars, and restaurants, uh, that's all touristy. There is not many people living here anymore as they used to. But still a little bit of this area, it's still a residential area in many places and it's not just something artificial being kept alive. It is protected by three bridge towers, two on the lesser quarter side and that includes the Malá Strana bridge tower, which is the tower that's ahead of us, the old town bridge tower. And you can climb to the tower, which I will not do today, and it has magnificent views, but I'm pressed for time, so I'll just walk through. The bridge itself is only 560 meters, that's like 1700 feet long, and about 10 meters, 33 feet wide. The bridge itself is decorated by a continuous alley of 30 statues, most of them Baroque style, originally erected around the year 1700, but now all have been replaced by replicas. And the bridge is currently undergoing a 20-year process of structural inspections, restorations and repairs. And it started in 2019, so it has a long way before it's completed, but it's not protecting us. It's not preventing tourists from walking and looking around. I still cannot get over the fact how many people there are. It's off-season, it's pandemic, and people are still coming. Quite, quite uh, unbelievable. And there are many people trying to make a buck of tourists, especially I saw several painters or folks who draw pictures, likeness of the tourists, and some of them are actually pretty good, I would say. Let's have a look. And of course, you can enjoy interesting views from the bridge, the castle, the river, the people, everything around is pretty lively. And I still cannot get over the fact that it's off season and we are in the middle of pandemic. Here in Czech Republic, it's what like the third, fourth or fifth wave with very high infection rate and no one seems to give a damn about wearing the masks or as they say here, respirators. Interesting. But I should also point out that most of the tourists who come here, about 90%, are foreigners. Majority of people come from neighboring countries, mostly from Germany, several million a year. But interestingly enough, there are about half a million visitors from China every year, the pandemic, and from Korea, South Korea, of course. <laughs> so that is really, really uh, interesting, the mix-up of folks who come here, Japanese also are visiting quite a lot. And I cannot really tell you exactly why it's so popular, but maybe the word spread and people realized that there are other cities to visit in Europe, not just London, Rome, Paris and so on. 
And what about Charles Bridge in pop culture? Let's have a look at movies. Spider-Man, Mission Impossible, The Omen, Wanted and so on so on. It does seem like most of the movies were shot in the last 20-25 years or so, but I can assure you there were many, many more movies preceding them. It's just that people are watching more nowadays than ever before. And what about postal stamps? So, so many of them, I cannot even show them all. And even some other countries borrow Charles Bridge to put it on their own stamps. And then we have books and stories and so on, and there is just so, so many of them. And last but not least, Google Doodle. On the 668th anniversary of Charles Bridge, on July 9, 2017, you remember it. That was the icing on the cake. Here is a little bit gruesome historical tidbit. 27 leaders of the anti-Habsburg revolt were executed on June 21, 1621 in the old town bridge tower served as a deterrent display of the severed heads of the victims to stop checks from further resistance. In the beginning of the 20th century, Charles Bridge saw a steep rise of heavy traffic. The last day of the horse line on the bridge was May 15, 1905, when it was replaced with an electric tram and later, in 1908, with buses. And beginning in 1965, all of the statues have been systematically replaced by replicas and the originals have been exhibited in the National Museum. Normally, about 30,000 people cross the bridge daily and obviously nowadays on foot. No traffic allowed. Most of the people I see today are foreigners. How do I know? Well, not necessarily by their looks, but the languages they speak uh, all are foreign, respectively not Czech. Yeah, and here we have yet more artists everywhere and people selling stuff. And as we are nearing the end of the bridge, we can have a look at the tower, and I believe that tower also is open to tourists, not that there is any line at the stairs or at the entrance, but uh, I saw a sign earlier pointing there, I think. And at the end of the bridge, there is a rather a disappointing group of people trying to make a buck of tourists with uh, what appears to be some huge snake, some doves and a little poor night owl. And I can tell you definitely those people are not Czechs, they speak a foreign language, I will not say which one, because I cannot distinguish between Russian and Ukrainian, or maybe it's some other Slavic language, but it's not Czech. And it's a shame that uh, there is no police or maybe they even have a permit from the local government, who knows. But anyway, it's just poor treatment of animals in my book. So finally I made it to Old Town Square. My six hours are up and I don't really have much time. So I cannot do the place really a justice by giving you any resemblance of detailed explanation. So just very briefly, Old Town Square is in the Old Town Quarter of Prague and it's located between the Wenceslas Square and Charles Bridge. The square features buildings belonging to various architectural styles including the Gothic Church of Our Lady before Teen, which is the church with the two towers and it's been the main church of this part of the city since the 14th century. The towers are 80 meters high. The Baroque St. Nicholas Church is another church located in the square. Prague Orloy is a astronomical clock mounted on the old town hall or what's left of it because town hall originally was much bigger but it was bombed during the Second World War and never rebuilt. The clock was first installed in 1410 
making it the third oldest astronomical clock in the world, the oldest one still in operation. So what does the astronomical clock do? Well, it shows the relative positions of the Sun, Moon, Earth and Zodiac constellations. It also tells the time, provides the date, and best of all, provides some theater for its viewers in the hour, every hour. Just above the main clock are two blue doors that open to reveal the walk of the Apostles. Between 9 a.m. and 9 p.m. each hour on the hour, the window of the clock in the upper part shows the 12 Apostles moving. And you can see the clock is really popular. People who come to the square, I mean the tourists, usually stop by the clock and uh, watch it, wa watch its performance. Otherwise, you can look around, see magnificent buildings, see the people walking around. There are Christmas and Easter uh, markets every year. So it's a very popular, very popular place, both with locals and tourists. So I think this is it. I ran off time, as I said, cannot really stay longer. Hope you liked it. Thank you very much and take care. See you next time. Bye bye.